Good evening, everyone. Welcome to video tutorial number 14 in the C.V. King piano method, uh, dead weight method. And today we're going to work on the arpeggio exercise that C.V. King invented. And basically, it's three octaves up, three octaves down, hands together. And you use the major first, third, fifth, and seventh notes of the major scale going up and you use the 8th, 6th, 4th, 2nd descending. Then you go through the minor, and then you go through the diminished. So for the major, it's... eight, six, four, two. so C, and then A natural, F natural, D natural. thumb right under when you're going up and get it out fast when you're going down and don't be afraid for each note to even though you're close to the keys and, and you're lifting but you're stretching don't be afraid to think of a high high bringing of the arm above the key because of each key because you you need to be able to turn on that sudden release to gravity of drop you need the drop to bring the key down and then you draw with your finger strong. So and the thumb has to be able to pivot the weight. That's the relative minor of C major, of E flat major at least, with three flats. So C minor has three flats, and the, the raised leading note of B natural, <coughs> excuse me, B natural. So. Now coming down, you've got the A flat, because it's eight, six, four, two. Right on the bottom, both ascending and descending. It's C, E flat, G flat, both up and down. But going up, you use the B flat, and coming down, you use the A flat. Full weight balanced on the pad of the finger. The thumb has to pivot the weight. from yourself, not like this, because then you have sunken knuckles. You want <laughs> So after two of those, then you go up to D flat major, which is D flat, F, A flat, C, D flat going up, and coming down is so then the left hand is the very same notes. So Flat. 
imagine that there's a box up there that it's a, like a gravity box. It's a, you have to have, have the bottom drop out of it from that high distance for each new note, and then you've got that sudden release drop, and then the finger can go out and in and draw the tone. So the D flat major would be. <laughs> sharp minor and so on so but it's done hands together so it's basically the camera will be in the way of my right arm so I won't be able to go all three octaves properly but try again when you get it going. So that gives you some ideas to work on on your arpeggio exercise and they're well worth doing. Uh, you, you end up learning your keys. So uh, when you can do that through all the different keys, major, minor, diminished, right through chromatically, like you <laughs> on each note you're going those three sets, major, minor, diminished, and three octaves up and down. Okay? I hope you have a good night. Thank you. <laughs>